want to find Choice Kitchen. And if this is your first time stopping by, I'd like to say a very warm welcome to you. Pineapple, mango, ginger juice is one of everybody's favorite that I make. So whilst I'm home, I'm trying to make this for my family as well. And I thought to share with you. Come along and let's make this. So I have some ginger. I've already peeled that. I have two medium-sized pineapples, very ripe, and two very ripe mangoes. I'm going to wash everything. This is already cleaned, so I'm just going to wash my fruit and then we'll cut them up. I'm going to pour some vinegar in the water. Make sure everything is clean. As usual, I'm going to save the skins to make some drinks, so I'm just used to cutting a lot of the fruit off. chopping board is so light it keeps moving around so I'm going to place a wet kitchen towel on the bottom and place it on to make it easier that way it's not going to be gliding as I cut my stuff maybe just cut everything up and split the shorter the pieces the better especially if your blender is not going to really work through everything. I'm going to split my ginger and put about half here. I'll save the other half for the other pineapple and mango. See now the board is sitting still. It's not moving again. I'm going to peel my mango right here. The pineapple is so sweet. So definitely if these mangoes are just as sweet, then we're just going to need a little bit of sugar. I'm using this wooden spatula, which we call Benkuta, <laughs> to help strain. 
of course if you have a very very powerful blender you might decide not to strain this at all This is super thick. It needs to be thinned out anyway, so I'm just going to add some water. The water will help me strain more juice out of this as well, so. So this is all the fiber left, not that much, which is perfect. I'm going to set it aside, blend the other one, and then when we finish, we'll dilute everything and add a little bit of sugar to taste. So I'm going to set this aside, blend the rest, and then we'll thin it out when everything is done. going to strain this one as well you could alternatively do this and that is if you're trying to pour in bits just pound on the side it helps to get the juices out and that is the residue for the second one I'm just going to rinse out my spoon so I can stir, and then we check for texture. I'm going to stir, check for thinness. I think this is good. I'm not going to thin it out anymore. That way you can pour it on ice. And when the ice melts, it's going to pretty much add to everything. We will taste for sweetness. I'm going to add a little bit of sugar, maybe about this much, and about this much in here as well. So maybe like a third of a cup for both of them. Stir until the sugar is dissolved, and you have your yumminess. Very healthy fruit juice that everybody is going to love. It doesn't get any better than this. Okay, this is ready to be served. Okay, now you can pour into your serving vessel. And you will be ready to enjoy this tropical goodness. I'll pour the rest in here. Meanwhile, I have already put the other one in the fridge, the whole bowl. There we go. And there you have it. Delicious. Just Delicious. look at that. Mm. It's really good. Huh? 
And now all of these people here are waiting to have turns. So bye! Bye! bye.